slipping into this spot to try to do a little bit of a saddle hunt and I kind of had to come around this area that's closer to the food and jumped a, sorry about this wind, but I had jumped a couple bucks. Well, the other one looked like a small one anyway, but this one had super fresh blood showing on his bases and I thought I heard something clang when he jumped up and sure enough, here's a shed right down here, right where they were bedded in this little pocket. knocked it off trying to get out of here. <laughs> I thought he was a decent little tin, but yeah, there's a kind of look at him. First one of the year, that's not how you want to find him in season. But. Ah, well, I got to slip around here. I know there's a lot more deer, but uh, I'm trying to kind of slowly make my way around to a spot far away from this rye field, but they're hitting it pretty heavy. All right, it's the afternoon of December 30th, and uh, basically the final call for me. I'll have to really pull off a miracle to be able to get out tomorrow, but this is probably going to be it. I uh, made my way back into a set that I wanted to kind of get to. The wind is actually really good. Um, almost bad for me, but it should be really good for them to quarter into. Uh, headed to a winter rye field that I've actually scouted here. When it got brutal cold last week, it was loaded with deer, so they're yarded up early this year, and I'm just hoping I can catch some of the bucks. Um, further back off the field. I jumped one yesterday scouting closer to the field and uh, he actually shed his antler one side which was crazy but that may be an issue if uh, it didn't fare too well through that uh, cold snap but it's really pretty comfortable sitting. They moved well last night but uh, just got to get lucky and be in the right spot and this is the time of year that I don't typically get to hunt but that's okay. It's been a long season and nice if something went my way, but you know what, if it doesn't, it's okay. Settle in here and enjoy the scenes. Several years, he's, I don't think he's going to make any big jumps or anything. 
probably would have been a tough one to pass had he come through here tight, but uh, I, d I decided not to call to him and uh, just felt like that was right. They cut the corner head into the feed, but really was in the game. All these does came through here, passed that test. And I'm actually fairly confident there was another buck chasing down here that very well could have got my wind. So it was a gamble well worth taking, but uh, I think it's going to end in an unfilled tag this season, but that's all right. Well, if you remember this summer, I worked on clearing out these cedars right here and had this stand. I never even got to hunt it, but we're here late season post rifle in Lane. Called with the good news. I actually was at a basketball game, but about a 20 yard shot. Got a really cool ridge trail. We've been seeing it scouting it kind of for a couple years and haven't taken a deer here yet, but Lane got it done. I'm pretty proud of him. He said it was because of me because I called to see if he was getting out, and so we went and shot his bow and scrambled up. I bet he wasn't here. How long were you here, Lane? 10 minutes. <laughs> he wasn't in the stand 10 minutes. It's cold today, though. I knew they were going to move early. He saw him go down or we wouldn't be this loud. Oh yeah, good shot, bud. Look at that. <laughs> Heck yeah, bud. First vertical bow, buck. Yep. 